Today is December 17th, 2025, 48 hours. That is all that separates us from the moment of truth. If you are listening to this right now, you are probably feeling the same tension that is gripping the astronomical community across the world. Something is coming to a head. The countdown has begun. In just two days on December 19th, the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth. For months, we were told to look away. We were told it was just a rock, a dirty snowball, a harmless fragment of a dead solar system passing silently through the night. Nothing to worry about, nothing to see. But today, that narrative no longer holds. Today, the data has spoken, and it is saying something no one expected. Before we dive into what just hit the servers, information that fundamentally changes what we thought we were watching, make sure you are subscribed and notifications are turned on. The next 48 hours are critical. You need to be here for every update, because something just happened. A new preprint paper quietly appeared on the RxIF server. Its title sounds almost harmless at first glance. The anti-tail of 3i Atlas wobbled before perihelion. I know how that sounds. Anti-tail feels like science fiction, but in astronomy, it's a real term. Normally, an anti-tail is nothing more than an optical illusion, a trick of perspective caused when Earth crosses the orbital plane of a comet, making the tail appear to point toward the sun instead of away from it. Rare. Yes. Unusual, yes. But understood. This time, it isn't an illusion. Independent researchers analyzing ground-based telemetry and deep field imagery have confirmed that the anti-tail of 3i Atlas is a physical structure, and it is enormous. According to the latest measurements, this feature extends more than 400,000 kilometers, larger than the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Pause on that for a moment. A structure stretching farther than lunar distance, trailing an object only a few hundred meters wide. But size alone isn't the real problem. It's the movement. Comet tails are passive. They drift. They flow. They are pushed by solar radiation and the solar wind like smoke in a breeze. They do not oscillate. They do not wobble. And yet, this paper documents a series of rhythmic, repeatable oscillations detected in the anti-tail just before Atlas reached perihelion, its closest point to the sun. These were not random fluctuations. They were precise, regular, almost mechanical. Imagine a ship cutting through the ocean, its wake trails behind it. If the ship turns slightly, the wake curves. If the ship makes repeated course corrections, the wake begins to wobble. That is exactly what the data shows. A frequency of oscillation that does not match any known natural outgassing process. If this were gas venting from ice, it would be chaotic. If it were rotational, it would match the object's spin. It doesn't. The wobble is independent of rotation. Dr. Avi Loeb has already released commentary on this, and his words are spreading rapidly through scientific circles. He points out something critical. A wobble involving this much mass implies a transfer of momentum. In plain terms, something pushed back. If you want to stabilize a craft under extreme gravitational stress, you make adjustments, you correct, you fire thrusters, you shift mass, and when you do, your wake responds. And then there's the composition. Spectroscopic analysis of the anti-tail is coming back wrong, not just slightly off, fundamentally wrong. We are not seeing simple water ice and dust signatures. We are seeing heavy elements, complex absorption, lines that don't belong in a natural cometary plume. Some researchers are already whispering what no one wants to say out loud. This doesn't look like a tail. It looks like an exhaust, a magnetic exhaust. We are now looking at an object that corrected its trajectory near perihelion, that trails a structure larger than the Earth-Moon distance, and that is two days away from its closest pass by our planet. And while this is happening, the mainstream media is telling you to grab binoculars and enjoy a beautiful celestial event. They are not telling you the tail is vibrating. Why? Maybe because they don't know how to explain it. Or maybe because they do. Because this isn't the first anomaly. First came the unexplained silence from the MAVEN spacecraft. Then the unexpected dimming as Atlas passed Mars. And now, controlled oscillations in a structure that defies physics. The closer it gets, the less it behaves like a comet, and the more it behaves like a probe. If this is a machine, what is it doing? Is it malfunctioning? Is it scanning? Or is it simply stabilizing itself for the flyby? The timing matters. The wobble occurred right before perihelion, the point of maximum thermal and gravitational stress. The exact moment when any navigating object would need maximum control. And now, Atlas is coasting inward, quietly, 
Trajectory models that are not making the evening news show a subtle deviation in its path, a tiny but measurable shift that occurred exactly when the wobble was detected. It changed lanes, almost imperceptibly, but enough to notice if you're looking. And this is where things escalate, because the anti-tail isn't just large. According to Avi Loeb's latest calculations, it isn't behaving like matter at all. The mass ratio doesn't work. An object a few hundred meters wide cannot sustain a coherent structure 400,000 kilometers long, unless that structure isn't mass, unless it's energy. And that brings us to the solar wind. Interaction. Normal comet tails are shredded by the solar wind. They disperse, they tangle, they fade. This one doesn't. It cuts cleanly through the stream of charged particles. It maintains shape, coherence. That implies magnetic containment. And if you have magnetic containment at that scale, you don't have a rock, you have a generator, you have an engine, and that engine is setting up in our front yard. Science Alert has confirmed the timeline. December 19th, two days from now, they're calling it a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. They're telling you to look for a faint smudge in Lepus, just south of Orion. What they aren't telling you is that the object is dimming again. Think about that. As an object gets closer to Earth, it should brighten. That is basic physics. Reflection increases. Outgassing increases. Visibility improves. But 3i Atlas is doing the opposite. Its magnitude is dropping. It is fading into the star field. Almost as if it doesn't want to be seen. Or as if it's absorbing light. Why would an interstellar object hide as it passes the only inhabited planet in the system? And that leads us to the signal. Or more accurately, the absence of one. SETI has been listening. Green Bank is listening. The Allen Telescope Array is pointed directly at it. No radio beacons, no pings. But what if we're listening for the wrong thing? What if the signal isn't light, but shadow? Leaked amateur photometric data from the last 48 hours shows something chilling. A light curve pattern that looks nothing like a comet. For a natural object, brightness should fluctuate chaotically. Rotation, irregular surfaces, random outgassing. Instead, the graph is flat, then a drop, flat again, another drop, perfect steps. The object dims by exactly 0.4 magnitudes every 144 minutes. Clockwork. Nature does not do this. Nature does not keep time to the minute. What we're seeing is not flashing light. It's blocking it. An inverse signal. A strobe made of darkness. Now overlay that with the anti-tail wobble data. They match. When the tail swings left, the object dims. When it swings right, brightness returns to baseline. A structure larger than the distance to the moon, swinging in sync with the main body requires rigidity. Structural integrity. Ice and dust cannot do this. A cloud of particles would tear itself apart. This one doesn't. So what are we looking at? A stabilized structure, orienting itself relative to us. Astrometric data from Australia and South Africa shows the anti-tail is misaligned with the solar wind by 12 degrees. That is enormous in celestial mechanics. It means the tail isn't being pushed. It's being aimed. So researchers traced the vector. They followed the line of that massive structure into deep space. It points directly at the galactic center, Sagittarius A, the same direction Atlas came from. This isn't a tail, it's an antenna. And the wobble is modulation. 3i Atlas is transmitting right now. And December 19th matters because on that date, Earth passes directly between Atlas and the sun. For a brief window, solar interference drops. A quiet channel opens, maximum signal clarity. Or perhaps Earth's gravity is being used as a lens, boosting the transmission. We are not just observers. We are part of the system. This is not a flyby. It's a handshake. We are being indexed, cataloged, uploaded. And buried deep in raw deep space network logs is one final detail. A series of pings that began three hours ago. They aren't coming from Atlas. They are going to it. Someone is answering. The final countdown has begun. In 48 hours, 3i Atlas will be 270 million kilometers away. A stone's throw in cosmic terms. So what should you do? Do not look away.